Hey guys, this is just a rant about something that's kind of been bugging me the last few days in the horror world. Um, there's a company who owns the rights to a very, very famous horror villain. And I'm not going to mention the company or the character by name, and I'll get into why a bit later. But um, let's just say the character likes to dress up as um, William Shatner as a mechanic and go trick-or-treating. And uh, hopefully you'll figure out who I'm talking about. If you're not, then you're probably not much of a horror fan, are you? But anyway, um, basically what they've been doing, from what I've seen, and I can't really find a whole ton of information about this, so I'm just kind of going on what I've seen on kind of a minimal level, honestly. But uh, so correct me if my facts are wrong on this, but they've been shutting down people who make custom masks of this character. And basically saying, we own the rights to this character, you cannot make a mask of him. Which, I have to point out, I am not saying it's not within their legal rights to do this. Because it obviously isn't. They own the character, they own the rights to his image, and, um, you know, they have the right to say, we're the only ones who can make products about this character. The only thing is they haven't really released anything good for this character in a long time. You know, remakes aside, the classic character as it appeared in, you know, the first appearance or even the more, the earlier sequels, basically there's not a whole lot of merchandise. I think there is one NECA figure that's been re repackaged three times. And there's, um... I think a sideshow, six scale figure. And yeah, they've licensed a couple masks, but they have been crap. They're ugly, they don't look right. They take I mean basically if you you know, ask somebody what the character looks like and they gave you a you know, thirty word description, probably less than thirty word description, it's probably what you'd get for making these masks. They're the idea's there, but it's totally wrong. And they just haven't done a very good job of making anything that people would actually truly want, especially horror collectors. People who want to have these as a display, and not just for, you know, wear it one night for a Halloween party or trick-or-treating or whatever, and then never use it again. This, you know, I'm talking about people who love the movie, have been fans of the movie since they were kids, and want something actually to display, and to collect, and to have. And that's what these individual people were giving us. They were making, you know, one-of-a-kind masks that were perfect-looking. I mean, they were very highly detailed. And, you know, something that was never made officially. And they're basically, you know, putting them out there. Yeah, they cost a lot of money, but it's because they're one-of-a-kind pieces. And that's kind of understandable to make something, you know, unique and handmade, you know, you're going to have to pay the price for it. And I think this company basically saw that people were making money off their character without the permission, and they just freaked. But I don't think it's fair that they freaked out about it if they're not willing to put out the product themselves. If they're not willing to put the time and effort into getting something for the collectors and for the fans. And I think that's what it all comes down to to me is that it's kind of screwing the fans. It's not treating your fans with the respect they deserve. And that just pisses me off. No matter what it is that I love, if they don't, you know, whether it be a band or a company making a movie or, you know, a director or actor or whatever, it always pisses me off when they can't show respect for the fans that put them where they were. And I'm not saying they need to let people make unauthorized copies of the war of you know the mask of the character i'm just saying if you're going to say no do it yourself put something out there for the fans to have because there's a reason that people aren't buying the official masks and they're buying the uh handmade ones i mean take this for example i've seen people making freddy gloves forever and i know they have made some official licensed ones before but I never had a chance to really see them in person. But this thing, this is the new, uh, you know, the remake NECA glove that I just got today. 
this looks freaking awesome. And it's really, you know, film accurate. It's for collectors. It sure as heck isn't for casual fans or people wanting to trick or treat in it. Yeah. This is for serious Freddy fans. And I think that, I mean, that's what I mean by respecting your uh, fan base. Actually putting out something that fans of your movie series are going to like. Same with, I mean, NECA again, but, you know, they've put out in the last two years two fairly good uh, hockey mask prop replicas. I mean, they're not perfect, but um, they're a lot cheaper than what you'd pay for a, uh, you know, one-of-a-kind fan-made replica. Maybe not quite as nice as what you could get that way, but the price is right, and they look really good. And I think this, uh, you know, unnamed company here needs to, uh, needs to go on a bandwagon. They need to... You know, if they're going to say, you can't do this, they really need to give the fans what they want. And if not, I think they're going to be in trouble if they ever try to make another movie with this character. Because I think fans are going to remember this. I think fans are going to know that, you know, this company kind of betrayed them. And um, the main reason I don't want to bring up the name, and I don't want to bring up the character's name... And the main reason I'm concerned about this, honestly, is for the figure customizing world. And, I mean, masks are one thing, but, you know, how hard is it to make the leap from that to anything relating to this character? And how hard is it to say, you can't use his likeness for anything whatsoever? And like I said, it's their legal right, but if they're not putting out the product, then I think they need to let somebody do it. And, uh, my fear is just that, you know, customizers like myself and others, you know, I, I weakly say myself in that since I haven't done a whole lot in this vein, and a lot more people are way better than I am, but, um, you know, I'm afraid that they're going to get screwed on this, that they're going to end up getting these cease and desist letters, and, you know, they're going to be monitored for if they ever put out a product of this character again that, you know, they're going to get sued. And that would really suck. And, I don't know, it's just one of those things that's really just... seems very unfair to the fans. And I know I've said that before, and I know I'm kind of rambling on this like I do in almost any video I do, but it just strikes me as something that's a really stupid move on the company's part. And I hope that they wake up and see that if you don't treat your fans with respect, then there can be problems, and there can be backlashes. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping maybe that, you know, I can contribute a little bit to that backlash. Maybe I'm be taking the wimpy way out by not naming names and stuff. But that's mostly for, you know, an attempt. I don't know how well it would work or not work, but to, uh not draw attention to the people that I really respect, you know, here on YouTube and stuff, who do custom work involving this character. Because their stuff's awesome, I'd hate to see them forced to never make it again. And, no, it's just one of those things that I hope that maybe I can be part of making them realize that this is a wrong decision. Be it legally correct, it's it's wrong to treat your fans like this. And, uh, I guess I'm gonna end it there. Once again, I apologize for kind of rambling on on this, but, uh, pisses me off, and I didn't really think clearly enough about what I was gonna say, but hopefully my message got across. Oh, no, yeah. Buy the freaking Freddy Glove. They're getting more expensive. They're evidently running out of stock or something, or just realizing they're worth more than what they're charging. I know Amazon's price has gone up a good amount um, lately. Even though they still have free shipping, I believe, on it. But, uh, yeah. Buy this glove before it's too late. You'll regret it if you don't. I got this at about 10.30 this morning. It came off my hand to eat lunch, and that's about it. And I kind of considered eating lunch with it on my hand. So, uh, you won't regret it if you pick it up. Alright. Later.